Hi. Today I want to talk about necks. Okay. And necks to me aren't as interesting as bodies. Okay. They just aren't. But they're a really important part of the guitar. And the point is that if the thing doesn't play well, if it doesn't feel good to play, then no one's going to play it. It doesn't matter how good it sounds. It has to play well. So, this particular wood is Honduran mahogany. It's getting more and more expensive. I still use this. I can still get it. It is what it is. But, I also carve these by hand. I have certain specifications I carve this to. And you have to be careful the fretboard isn't too thick because you need some meat behind these truss rods. What do I use to actually do the carving? Because these end up being, you know, squares, blocks. When I put them in. I start out on the heel with this puppy. This is a big old Marple's draw knife. It stays sharp for a very long time. I've only had to sharpen this once in kind of 40 years I've had this. Nice tool, but that only gets used a little bit. The One of the things about mahogany of any kind is that very often you get a road, R-O-E-D, road appearance, which is striped, right? You can see the stripes. And the reason for that is that the grain is going different directions. Okay, so you come across here like this. This stripe here is really nice to cut. This stripe here is going the opposite direction. It tears out like crazy. So what do you do? Well, I have these, you know, draw knives or uh, spoke shaves, excuse me. And they're fine. I actually prefer this one. This is an old one I got, I don't know how many years ago. It's been a long, long time. Picked it up in an antique shop, probably. Uh, and I've been using it ever since, and it's great. It does take a little bit more sharpening than the draw knife. Because there really isn't very much steel in there. But this cuts like a son of a gun, and you can do it easily to get smaller shavings, almost like scraping, and bear down and you can get huge shavings. This is a hell of a tool. You might not think so, but it is. You go to the expensive tool, okay, the really expensive tool, and this works fine and it gives you a nice arch, helps, helps to do that, but doesn't really work well in this road grain scenario. So this ends up being the, the tool of choice for a lot of this, which is a, a rasp made out of hacksaw blades, basically. And this thing digs deep. It's quite something. When I need to go to a finer mesh, I get the the standard four-in-one rasp on this. This uh, happens to be a Schmidt. This is the nicest one I've got. And just go to work, feeling how that feels, measuring it for thickness, make sure I'm not getting too close to that truss rod. And then, of course, doing the, the final volute or, or whatever it is that I'm going to do up there on the, the headstock. So, just kind of wandering through this process, I've got a couple hours to do this, and uh, then it's off to the farm. And I'll see you whenever I get back.